Welcome! Today I'll explain how to install a shader packs to the Minecraft on Macbook. So you just downloaded Minecraft and you just want to install a shader packs, resource packs and nothing inside, it's just a classic Minecraft. What you need to do is, is it's really simple, it's just two steps. First you can just quit game, doesn't matter, and go to the resource website which is in this case modrint and this shader i really want to try out complementary shaders unbound okay so i'll just download this one it's the latest one i'll select iris and this one allow it says it says that first you need to install iris mod to be able to load shader packs which is, if you click on this one, it will direct you to the Iris Shaders website. So I'll just go and click Download Universal Jar. I'll also allow it. So the thing with the Max, uh, when you download something from web, and if it's not trusted source, if it's if it's not from the trusted resource, it, the Mac won't allow you to install anything. In this case, it will say. Apple could not verify, blah, blah, blah. It's free of malware that may harm your Mac or compromise your privacy, which is a good thing. Mac is trying to protect you. So how to install it? If I click done, nothing will happen. If I click move to bin, it will erase it. So what you need to do is click done. Go to the system settings. Go to the privacy and security. You need to scroll down. At the privacy and security inside system settings, there is a pop-up window. This was not here before I clicked the Iris Shader installer. It's saying, uh, blah, blah was blocked to protect your Mac, which is a good thing again. But you can click open anyway. Open anyway, again, this is a trusted source. It will ask you for username and password, which is your sign in ID and password. Please visit java.com for information on installing Java. So the thing with this folder is that it is .jar file, which is Java jar file, which on MacBook on default, it doesn't have a translation layer to open this application. What you need to do is download Java from Oracle, which is another trusted <laughs> company, Java Oracle just it just search it and the second one as you can see from oracle web website go into that download java so what we need is dmg installer which is much more direct we don't need to um, work on that we need this the second one which i'll click on this one allow again okay it's downloaded double click here is a package Double click again, the Java interface will come up, continue, install for all users, again continue and install. Again it will ask for your admin and password. It will take, yeah, two seconds. Install succeeded. Uh, close it, move to bin, it's okay we are done with it. So now iris installer to point blah 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 <laughs> again double click so what it says now is a different thing would like to access files in your downloads folder of course because this is the java launcher that we just installed allow so this is the iris interface which will which you will see exactly the same interface on windows version this is all okay game version is the last latest one we just need iris and directory okay it's the correct one installation directory in minecraft install i will download again for a second so we can just close it quit um, now we installed iris let's open the minecraft go to the installations and you will find this iris and sodium so you need to click on this open installations folder click on that and it will 
guide you to the folder where it is installed, this iris. So you need to scroll down and find the shader packs, shader packs inside this folder. What you need to do is quite simple. Just go to the downloads folder. I'll open a new tab just to keep this here and copy the downloaded um, resource pack file and paste it inside the shader packs. I already did it. It's inside here. Just copy it inside the shader packs. Play. You are about to play Minecraft Java Edition install that has been modified. We can't guarantee. You know, we just installed Iris and system is warning us about something that is modified. I understand the risks. Don't warn me again about this installation. <laughs> it's a bit bold move. So games launched, you need to go to options and video settings, not resource packs because you won't see your recent resource pack here. Go to the video settings, you see the video settings are changed and there, there is a thing that says buy us a coffee. So you need to go to the shader packs and you'll see it right here. Shaders are enabled. If you want to tweak some settings of the shader, you can go to the shader pack settings you know change the settings at and everything and now you can play the game i'll create a new world let's go with creative yeah here it is our new shader pack it looks really good i like it nice shadows and let's say realistic looking blocks <laughs> inside the minecraft it's good so yeah it's that easy you just need to copy the downloaded shader and paste it into the shaders inside the iris so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one cheers